Hey, what's up, team? Well, the biennial, Whit the Whitney Biennial is in trouble again. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and check this video that I did a few weeks ago about a different controversial controversy from the Whitney Biennial um, and get caught up to speed. But anyway, for this one, you know, I find it so, so ironic. It's so ironic. Uh, artists and, and, uh, and, and people who make a living uh, of free speech, people who several decades ago would have been suppressed by the other side, who, uh, who, who've made a living, who make their whole, everything they believe, it's all because of free speech. So it's very, very ironic when you have people, artists, woke artists, who want to destroy that art. And that's what we're gonna look at today. Destroy that art, cried the woke artist. Now this is an article from uh, the American Conservative. There we go. And uh, I find it quite interesting and kind of, well, scary. Let's take a look. Uh, it says, in the current Whitney Biennial, a very big deal uh, art show in New York, there's a 2016 painting depicting the body of Emmett Till. Now, just in case you don't know who Emmett Till is, he was this gentleman here. He was a child, and he was accused by a white woman of, of catcalling, whistling, and these two killed him and smashed him, it's just smashed his face. Just disgusting. And they were let off, these, these let off. It was a travesty of justice. Well, um, cut to today, and an artist by the name of Dana Schultz, who is, who is white, as if that matters, created an, a highly abstract image from, a, from that famous ca open casket. You see, here's the deal, Emmett Till's mother wanted the world to see what they did to her baby. And so she published the, that, that open casket scene so they could see what, this, what they did to this, this child's face. Um, mm. uh, and here is what she made. Okay, this is, a, this is called Open Casket by Dana Scholes. Uh, it's an abstract painting, obviously. Take a look. Uh, now the problem isn't with the painting itself. The problem isn't, isn't that it's a faithful reproduction. It isn't that the artist is following the wishes of the mother who asked that the, the world see what they did. And this is a reminder, okay, the, the artist wanted, well, she's kind of a jerk too. She wanted white people to feel guilty. I don't feel guilty at all about this. I had nothing to do with this and I condemn it. And no white person who, had, who condemns hatred should feel guilt about this. I don't know why, anyone would want to make people feel guilt that had nothing to do with what they're talking about because it, it takes energy away from the real problem and that's these two assholes. So if you're busy trying to make me feel guilty about stuff I haven't done, you should be really focused on guys like this, right? I, I, wouldn't, I didn't really want to show their faces but I thought it was important to see um, just who did it. Okay, so we got this that's the painting. Now, woke artists want, uh, want, want it to just take it down. In fact, some artists want it to be taken out of the museum and destroyed. They want to actually burn it. Artists want to burn another artist's work because, not because it, it's disrespectful, the, the painting itself is disrespectful, not because the painting itself is, is bad or in bad taste or it's, it's offensive. They want to do it because the artist is white. And that's the only reason. If it were a black artist who did this, they would be praising it. But because she's a white artist, they want it to be destroyed. And that's just shameful. Uh, it's being led by a lady named Hannah Black, and she wrote an open letter. And come, come back soon, we're gonna talk about that uh, next time. Uh, she wrote an open letter, uh, and here's the thing. Hannah Black's a British-born black artist, okay? She's been in London, she was, she was born in Manchester, she's born in, she was, worked in London, she worked in Berlin, and now she's in New York. And she has the balls to say that she has the black American experience. She's a rich black person, all right? She's a rich black European. Ah, just, here she is, a foreigner in America with a voice, making a lot of money doing what she loves, and all she can talk about is things that she has, she has no experience in, yet, 
she's talking about white people. This, I think this is how she's trying to get her street cred. It's always weird when someone's like, oh, hello, America. I'm from America, too, and I'm one of you people, and I just want to be your friends. Oh, but I'm going to criticize you. I am, aren't I? I'm going to criticize the hell out of you. America's a bad place, eh? Right? Nothing worse. The Irish in me really gets upset when I hear people talking shit about America with English accents. Yeah. Anyway, so here's the open letter and blah, 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 blah. But who cares? The art, the person at the end, thank you for reading, Hannah Black. And so the, the, the end credit is from the author of the piece saying, so there you have it. A prominent artist demanding that a museum not only remove a work of art, but destroy it because the artist is white and their subject is black. Think about that. Think about where this is going. Think about how ironic and hypocritical it is for a, a foreign-born artist to come here to America and become rich and famous and then berate America for being racist. That There's a systemic uh, <clears throat> racial agenda against people like her when she's rich and famous. You came here and now you're rich and famous. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with you? Uh, it, it makes no sense. Hannah Black, you're an enigma. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.